children went missing last year? When I say don't put your kids on the internet, this is what I mean by that. Because anybody can go into your live and record your child and share the fucking video anywhere the fuck they want. And there's nothing you can do about it. That's my opinion on it. Fucking burn that video. Get rid of it. Delete it. Don't share with nobody. Mom, got the video. Mom, don't share it. Don't trust nobody with access of your child. Give a fuck who they say they are. You clearly know nobody's your friend on the internet. We've established that. Nobody can be trusted. That's my take. Because all y'all was supposedly friends, and now y'all exposing every little fucking detail. So none of y'all was really friends. I trust no one. Because who's a friend today could be an enemy tomorrow. And nobody's talking about the fact that Morgan, right in real time, her house is being threatened. Oh, nobody's going to talk about that. It's fucked up. You people giving out addresses where people, pe pe this is how fucked up y'all are. But it's okay. Trust nobody. It's okay to give out Morgan's whereabouts. Fucking losers. Y'all crazy to say it's okay. Give out Morgan's address. Give out Morgan's phone numbers. She don't got a son. She don't got a child. That's why I'm saying it's all fake. It's all fake. It's okay to threaten good old Tom. Threaten her child, her safety. What the fuck y'all talking about? Y'all fake. Y'all fake with that shit. Y'all fake with the selective outrage. Y'all rage farmers. Y'all rage farmers. None of it's okay. The fuck? Why should a woman or a mother be scared to walk out of fucking house? Because she said something inappropriate in a group chat. That was not meant to come out. But somebody felt like it needed to come out and now it's all over the fucking internet. None of us would know none of that shit if y'all didn't betray each other. Y'all all weak for that. That's my opinion. Because real women don't get on the fucking internet and expose a whole group chat. Y'all could have handled that behind the scenes. Yet y'all put it on the internet and now all of us know about it. Fake! Fucking fake. Y'all fake. Trust none of y'all. And is as fake as you as fake as you are, I still don't believe that you should be hurt or harmed. I still don't believe you should be scared to walk out your fucking door. I still don't believe that you should be scared to go to the fucking gym. your life should be threatened because you made a group chat talking bullshit it's wrong what you did but you don't deserve that what the fuck
fuck y'all talking about? I'm so sick of y'all with y'all selective outrage and y'all self-righteousness. Half y'all get up on this internet and attack women on a daily basis and then laugh. Chasing pillows, you know what? I'm not even so much asking for fairness. I'm, ta I'm talking about humanity. Thank you. It's wrong. It's so fucking wrong. It was a thought though. It wasn't an action. Let's just keep that in mind. And how my brain works is, yo, was this all part of the plan? Was these people planning to make this fucking big, big, big show so they can actually talk about the barb and her mothering and her drinking? Was this all part of it? So now you don't even have to put a video out because you can talk about the video. You can talk about her mother without the video. Was that the plan? That's how my brain works. I start dissecting shit. I sat quietly and watched and listened. Was this part of the plan anyway? Now you've gotten your point across. Now you've said everything you wanted to say without even saying it. Correct? Correct? <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna like me because I speak too much truth. Now, now we talk about the video, aren't we? For fucking four days. I'm so fucking mad. Y'all ain't thinking about that, right? Now we don't talk about this woman, her child. We don't talk about it all. Was that the plan? If you late, just sit quietly and listen. Was it the plan? Did you get it out there like you wanted it out there already? Was it the plan? Now we don't talked about the video. We don't talked about this woman's child for days at a time. This mother has been up here crying, screaming, yelling, hurt, devastated, embarrassed. Now her mother is being questioned. You see in the live comments, oh, she's always drunk. She's always doing this. She's always doing that. Now she's up here being attacked. Was it the plan? Did your plan succeed? I know they don't get this mad tea, but there's a kid involved. I'm so sick of these bitches. I sat back and I watched. Did your, fa your plan come into fruition? Because now we're talking about it. Exactly notorious, but I'm the dumb one. <laughs> Ain't nothing dumb about Ray the Fixer. I couldn't do what I do if I was dumb. My silence is because of one reason and one reason only because I know what I'm capable of. I don't know. I do have an idea. But now we are talking again. And now there's a video that has been passed around. I'm calling all y'all out. I don't give a damn. Exactly, Chase. And a ton of misinformation. 
Exactly. That video is probably on the dark web already. Y'all sick motherfuckers. Y'all sick. Y'all some sick motherfuckers. Some of y'all was in those comment section wanting to see the video to see how the little girl was dancing. I peeped that. I don't even, I'm not even looking for the video. I don't want to see it. But I peeped all y'all wanting that video. And I was disgusted, honestly. I was disgusted. I got a sick feeling in my stomach because I was essayed as a child. And predators pray. And it be the people you least expect that will fucking do harm to your child. But y'all want to talk about that. Because that's too much tea. That's too much. It would, uh, it would have, you would have to critically think and actively listen to clock that tea. You would have to critically think and actively listen to clock that fucking tea. It takes too much. You would rather call somebody else a PD3 a PD30 instead of clocking the people who wanted to see. See, let me see that video. Let me see the video. Let me see the video. Why you want to see the video so fucking bad, you freak? That's what I felt. You a freak. Y'all ain't gonna talk about it. Y'all ain't gonna talk about how dangerous this is. And I love that for Barb. I love that she's putting her daughter in spaces and places where she can benefit and she can grow. But I know how this works. I've been fighting for children and women for a very long time. And I said 840,000 went missing last year, but y'all ain't hear that part. Don't share your kids up here on this motherfucking internet. These people are sick. Let me see the video. Let me see the video. All y'all in the con. Let me see the video. Exactly. Video probably still being shared. I wouldn't want to see the video, even if I was her friend. I don't want to see that video. I don't want nothing to do with that. That's why I don't trust people. You don't know who's who's who. And there's a lot of your 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 content creators out here selling human beings, and they being clocked on it. If you late, then sit and be quiet and listen. Ain't nobody repeating themselves over and over. The fuck you think this is? This ain't your personal screening. This is a live. Sick of y'all. Jess, they don't understand how deep this goes. People are selling people's children on the internet. Y'all don't piss me the fuck off. Yet y'all want to get up here and talk about what should be done. I'm clocking it. Y'all doing too much. The fuck these women need to be afraid to walk outside for. In good old time, you were wrong. You didn't think, and you sound like a smart woman when you speak. 
You was mad you was in your feelings, so you exposed all this shit. Now the baby video's out there. And there's a consequence. Karma. She's a bitch. And she's got everybody address. She don't need to dox nobody. You had a beef? Y'all had a beef with, with Morgan? Handle Morgan privately. You didn't think about the domino effect of all that you was doing. And look how it's impacting your life. Now they're threatening you. All for clout. All for vengeance. Y'all never heard say God say vengeance is mine to save the Lord. Now look. I hear people say to me, oh, you wasn't that clairvoyant. You didn't know. You didn't know they was doing this and that behind your back. And you know what I say? What I don't know my ancestors do. Clock that T. You can't use me. You can't misuse me. You can't mistreat me. You can't come for me. You can't break me down. You can't make me move, leave this app. I come on this motherfucker when I want to. I say what I want. I do what I want. And I'm still here and I'm not going nowhere. I say. And what I don't see my ancestors see when I go to my altar and I pray, prayers of the righteous relative much. Come on now. Right and just. I'm speaking the facts of the matter. And I'm talking about cosmic energy. What you put out is what you get back in. And sometimes you got to go through a pressure. This is a pressure pot for a lot of y'all. And it's how you respond is going to be the end result of your life. Y'all chose to respond in vengeance. So end result is this. said what I said I'm standing on it I don't give a fuck if y'all host a thousand lies about me so fucking what that's just your take and I'm never mad at anybody's take unless you lying and I haven't lied yet you lying on me then we have a problem and I will handle you separately but I ain't lied y'all wrong all y'all All y'all fucking sharing child videos, doing all that, doing all get the fuck off the internet with that. Y'all okay? Nobody should be threatened, nobody's safety should be put at risk. Nobody's. The fuck y'all look like? Anybody got children trying to get up and go find somebody to fight is crazy. The fuck you talking about? You want to be there tomorrow for your child, correct? Do you understand threatening someone on the internet is a, considered a terroristic threat? Are you okay? Are you okay? You could be prosecuted for that. And if anything happens to that person, let's be clear how this works. 
sent y'all all geniuses up in this motherfucker. If something was to happen to that person tomorrow, you'd be investigated. And your head would be on the chopping block. You could not, you, you, you could have been just talking out your ass because you was mad. But now you're being investigated. And you're a suspect because you said that. In front of a million people. Now what happens to your child? Think. 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 Think black women. Think black people. Y'all not thinking, y'all just reacting. And it all sounds good until you locked up. Because anybody make any threats to me, my physical harm, or my children, I'm getting you locked up. I don't play with that kind of shit. I'm not to be played with. I'm not no TikTok bully. I'm not going back and forth with you in these TikTok streets. I'm not playing with you. I'm going to get you arrested. I'm going to drain the swamp. Fucking talking up. Y'all crazy with that. People ain't scared. You just got what I figured out in life. Is that people who have nothing to lose will help you lose everything. Ashe. They will help you lose everything. Because ain't no way. I got shit to lose. And I'm up here threatening people. That don't match. That's why I don't hang out with nothing to lose ass people. Clock it. I don't want to clock that. Because y'all love rage farmers. Y'all like that shit. Y'all like people up here yelling and screaming, calling each other bitches and hoes, talking about how they look, talking about their weave, talking about their forehead, talking about their hairline, talking about their eyebrows, talking about their ass, talking about their stomach, talking about their tits, talking about their kids. Y'all love that shit. And my first go-to is never, never call a woman a bitch. It's never my first go-to. It's literally, it's literally something that I hate to do Because I didn't grow up hearing women being called bitches by the way I always can tell women who grew up being called a bitch Or someone calling them Being around them calling other women bitches I can tell dysfunction when I hear it can tell the people who weren't allowed to speak when they were when they when they were kids they didn't know they weren't allowed to have a voice so when you have conflict you react out of sorts because you weren't allowed to speak so you don't critically think or actively listen to anyone because you just want to get your point across because somebody told you your voice didn't matter so you get on the internet and you scream and you rage farm you don't even know how to have a conversation there's no such thing as having a conversation with you because you never was taught how to have one i can tell Clock it. Y'all mad at me. I know. I'm here on the blogs. And I don't give a fuck. If you ever know anything about me, you know I don't give a damn. I say what I said and I say what I meant and I mean what I say. And I don't give a fuck who agrees with me. Honestly. I never did. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to see my point of view. But you need to respect me. 
And that's the point. We all have different takes of a scenario. And I can sit and I can listen to people's takes. You learn that. It's called maturity. I watched, I sat quietly, I didn't have a take because I didn't know all the information. I seen y'all ready, all y'all up here having takes without knowing everything. I was really going to wait to Bella for Bella's live. But as I was sitting here today and I thought about it, I got more pissed off because now I'm sitting in tea times live and I'm watching good old time crying because she's being attacked and her child is being attacked. And niggas is saying, oh, well, she deserves that. Nah. She don't deserve that. Keep it above the neck. Meaning deal with her only. People attack me, talk about my children. Oh, Ray, uh, Ray needs to worry about her kids. Baby, don't you ever worry about mine's. You know why you're talking about my kids? Because you know nothing about my children. You know nothing about my life. You're hoping that I come up and give you some details. Never. Give a fuck what you think about my children and me. Who the fuck are you? Who are you? I'm better than that. Who are you that I should explain about my private life to you? Are you okay? You want me to get on the internet and explain my family dynamics to you? Are you okay? Are you okay? What? The fuck I would ever explain my life to you? Y'all weird. That's why I can't understand why y'all up here spread. Y'all, this is how. Let me just break this down to you how mind control works and how bullying works to perfection. I'm looking at these women. These seem like some competent, well rounded, smart. Looks like they have their own homes. They're doing things with themselves. Somebody demanded that they show their messages and they showed them. I want y'all to take that in. They've been harassed so much that they broke down and they shared it. You dance with the devil, you get burnt. I ask good old time if you if you're saying that Keys and Morgan is the person that did the tape, the video, then why are you not showing the video? Like, why are you not showing who posted the video? Where is like I wanted to see who posted the video, not the actual video. Cause I didn't believe her when she said that it was Keys and Morgan. I just felt like from the beginning that there was some type of Larger plan going on here. That's why I asked. Well, we, because I wanted to see 
the timestamps because I know when somebody sends me a video, I can see who sent me the video. And because she kept on saying that it was Morgan and Keys, if you saying it's somebody to these two people, then it would show that this video was sent by them. Correct? That's what I wanted to see. That's why I asked that question. I wanted to see the time, like who sent it. Come to find out that was a lie. See, all we had to do was wait. That's why, and that's what was my point. I was calling out the lie. Clocked it. I clocked it from the beginning. Then I went up in Morgan's lab because I had questions for her. Because I wanted to understand. And nobody was asking the questions I wanted answers to. So I went back in the fucking, I went up there and I asked my questions. And then I got down and I mind my business for the next couple of days. I wanted to see, I couldn't understand certain things. And how my mind works is I don't move on until I understand this part of it. And because I couldn't understand that part, I couldn't move on. Thank you, Pinky. Pink Mike. Sorry, I thought that was Pinky. Some of us actually critically think and actively listen. And that's what I've been doing for the last couple of days. And it's all wrong. None of y'all are innocent. And let me tell you something about me. I have sat at the table because I was a committee person for the DNC, the Democratic National Party. And committee, well, DNC committee. Um, and I had to, I have had to sit in rooms with people that oppose my views. And I still had to speak to them to understand where they're coming from. It would be so nice if y'all would be able to sit in rooms with people you don't care for and try to get an understanding of where they were coming from. Because when Bella had that young lady get on her live and try to dog walk me and not let me up in her space, I was pissed. And I got on my live and I spoke about it. And I didn't like it. Because I feel like if you allow someone to get up on your space and talk in your space and talk about a person, you should allow them to get back and respond. And I was pissed at her. Cause they was trying to They're going to tell me I'm going to be in a docket I ain't going to be in nobody's fucking docket I don't give a fuck about your docket But I got to speak to Bella To get an understanding We actually spoke on the phone Did I agree with her? Absolutely not I still stood on That she should have never allowed that to happen But I understood her So you never heard anything else about it because I got an understanding. Y'all don't want understanding. Y'all want chaos. Y'all the agents of chaos. That's what y'all have been on this internet. And I don't want to be a part of your team. I have a team of my own. Because let me tell you something. If being on your team means that 
I have to crawl behind you like a dog. I have to silence my brain. I can't speak my opinions. I can't be myself. I have to get up there and bully people for you under the guise of supportership or unity, then fuck you. That's why I don't last long in a lot of spaces. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I don't. I'm not a person. I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't think you're better than me because you have a larger platform. And I don't believe that you deserve more respect than me because you have a larger platform. And I don't think that your voice matters over my voice because you have a larger platform. You feel me? And in order to be in certain spaces, you have to have that idea. You have to, you have to literally dim your light in order to be on their platforms. And I have a big question because I see this a lot on the internet. My question has always been, why can't people separate from these platforms, build their own platforms in peace? Y'all don't ever wonder why it always turns into malice and contention? Why is it that you go and support somebody's space for months, weeks, years, or whatever, and you decide, hey, I want to do the same thing. Why is there contention surrounded around that? Why is it then that you want to now go, now, oh, it's hate on this person? How about I have something I want to say too? And your, your platform is no longer serving my voice. you I wish you the best but I have a voice I have something I want to say so I'm going to go say it in my space because your, your space does not serve my voice so I leave your space and I go create my own space where I can have my talking points why is that not allowed I don't think like you 100%. I actually have something I want to say. So I'm going to go create my own space. Is that okay? It has nothing to do with being against you or not liking you or not loving you or not want to show up in your space anymore. I just want my own space where I can speak on what I want to speak on. Immediately when someone does that, it's, oh, they just want to be like them or they trying to take their space. What? How many loaves of bread is on the shelves in a fucking grocery store? As a matter of fact, how many grocery stores are there? Are we all going to the, grocery, the same grocery store to buy our food? That makes too much fucking sense. I don't buy the same bread as everybody else. Why do I have to sit in the same person's live? I like hearing different takes. I go and sit in many lives. I sit quietly. I really don't have an opinion. I sit and I listen. I like some takes. I like your take here. I like your take here. That doesn't mean that I'm mad at you or I hate you. I just have a brain that works that way. I'm an onion. I'm layered. <coughs> That's a crime on this internet. You can't have a fucking take. You can't even want to make your own life to have a fucking take. And I'm never scared of nobody taking my platform. I don't understand that ideology. What is yours is yours. Why are you afraid somebody going to take your platform? And why is people trying to take people's platforms? What the fuck is going on here? Are you okay? You got your own platform. Make it your own. Why are y'all planning? I don't understand this. You're plotting to take someone else's platform. 
for what? I don't get it. My brain hurts. Stupid. You can get up here, speak your speak your one and two one as as Morgan say. I, I get my one two. And keep it moving. Y'all don't want to do that. Y'all want to destroy someone before you create your own. You spend so much time trying to destroy someone else's that your shit is being destroyed. Cause karma is a bitch. She has everybody's address and she knows the heart of every man. And nobody have to tell you what somebody's saying in the fucking messages. Watch how their life is falling apart. And you can see that karma is showing up and she's whooping your ass. Do you not understand that? I never had the desire to take somebody's fucking platform. Who gives a fuck? The fuck are y'all talking about? I'm going to destroy her platform. What? Why? Clearly you don't have a self-esteem. I'm just going to say it. Y'all out here trying to destroy platforms. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't think you got what it takes to sit on the side and create your own platform and be relevant the same way she's relevant? There's something is wrong with you and your inner workings. Go get some help. Get therapy. Y'all make fun of me when I talk about therapy. But y'all need therapy. Some of y'all need therapy. No, it ain't childish, hell kid. These people need therapy. That's why I promote therapy on my live all the time. Because what is wrong with you? That What is wrong with what you feel about yourself? That you need to literally create a chat to just try to destroy someone else's platform that they worked hard to build. Maybe it's me, but I know, there's nobody on this planet that I'm going to put that much fucking energy into when I can build myself up and become my greatest self and live in my divine purpose. All that energy you put into destroying someone else, you can put into building yourself up. I'm making too much sense. I'm making too much sense. That energy you took to destroy someone else, you could have been perfecting your live content, perfecting your, building your platform. Instead, you wanted to break somebody else's spirit, hurt someone else, and you created a fucking mob tech, a mob chat to do it. Get some help. I can understand people talking about people and chats. I talk about people all the time. I like to gossip. I like to talk tea. Not so much gossip. I like to talk tea because I don't want to harm nobody. Universe, I do not want to harm nobody. Right? And that's what gossip is. Connecting falsehoods with truths. You're wrong for doing that. But if you took that time, like you had all these people in these chats talking and you were taking the time to try to destroy someone's platform, all the energy and the work, man working hours y'all put in to destroy her platform, y'all could have put into build up Bellas. I'm going to clock that T. Y'all ain't going to like me after this. Some going to love me. Some going to love me. Some, the real ones will love me. The real ones that's clocking this shit and being quiet, sitting carefully, they, they loving this. Because they've been wanting to say it. I'm saying it for you. Thank me later. That's some weak ass shit. Y'all weak for that. There's nobody on this internet that I'm intimidated by. As a matter of fact, I follow y'all because I enjoy your content. I love y'all. I want to see y'all win. So I follow you. 
and I laugh and I engage some of y'all crazy, silly. And I mean, I love that. When y'all out there going crazy and talking about people's moms and kids and stuff, I bounce. But if y'all up there laughing and drinking and talking, I love to see it. Black women need to celebrate each other. And everybody, and then the thing about it is everybody's fucking lives aren't the same. That's the beauty of it. Called difference. It's called difference. I know some of y'all here recording me right now. Get my good shots. Get my good sides. Some of y'all taking pictures when I'm yelling so y'all can make those videos. I love that. I think it's actually funny. I, you know what I was thinking? All the time that y'all take, um, because y'all, some of y'all are so creative. All the time that y'all take to do these lives, I mean, to make these posts, Catching people doing this. Oh, there's. Y'all should do some type of production team. If y'all put y'all minds together on some good vibes, some good high vibrations, and use your skill sets and your gifts that was given to you by God to do good, you'll be more successful. Hate only lasts but so long. The thing about doing content that is rage farming is that people can't stay in that mindset forever clock that i learned that when i went out and protest i learned that people cannot stay angry forever it's not good it's not good for their mental health so what happens is people can only stay angry for a certain amount of time with you and then they clock you out and perhaps you're getting people in places where they're vulnerable and they're listening because they're angry with life right now. And so they want to be mad with you. But that shit can't last forever. So why don't you take your skill sets? Because I see a lot of y'all gifted and talented and do some type of production team. I heard good old Tom saying that she was making people's backgrounds. Girl. Go get your money. Give a fuck about y'all screenshot me. I don't care about y'all making fun of the way I look. That never bothers me. Shit. I remember when P Chasing Pillows used to do content on me. I was laughing at that shit. And I ain't mad at you, Chasing Pillows. And I told you that. I don't care. I think you're gifted. I think you could do better with it. I go into your lives. You're very creative. I think you can do something amazing. Besides posting about me, I mean, hey, get my good shots. You know, get me on the good side. You know what I mean? But, hey, if that's where you think you're supposed to be, and that's where you see yourself being, then ain't nothing. Ain't nothing I can tell you. I can't speak life into you if you feel like you're dead already. Ashe? I can't see nothing bigger for you than if you if, if you don't see it for yourself. Ashe, uh, I can see greatness in a whole lot of people, but if they don't see it in themselves, uh, it's nothing I can do for them. I'll be watching y'all. I'll be amazed. Because let me tell you something. I'm, t I'm doing this. Two fingers out this bitch. Y'all out there typing. Nigga, use that. But I can see greatness in you. If you don't see it in yourself, there's nothing I can do. You got to see it for God to use it. You got to first see it. But I do call out the fucking bullies. You're welcome. Because I see us black people, we can rise. All these gifted black people on this internet. Use it for good. Get you a production company. Let people pay you to make their backgrounds. The fuck? 
If good old Tom was making um, these backgrounds for all these people and doing all that, she's creative. She needs to use her, good, her gifts for good. And this is what I mean when you don't see your own greatness, you start letting people use it for wickedness and then it turns out for the worse. You better clock that shit. I'm too black. I'm blackity black, y'all. I'm pro-black. That's why I don't get up here and drag all y'all. Because I love black people. To the core. But y'all pissed me off today. And so like a mother, I had to come in here and, and mother some of y'all. I have a mini pincher. What's up, resilience? We got to start acting like bullying is bullying if you are harassing someone for days at a time and then call it harassing. And stop showing up in lives like that. Because what's happening is people are coming together and plotting against people's safety. With anything balanced and intellect is required. Hallelujah. I shay on that one. Y'all creating these people. Everybody can't take being dragged on the internet. And if you if you think you unravel this one group, there's a thousand more that don't like you and are plotting. And you have some responsibility to that. I ain't gonna lie. And nobody ain't gonna say it to you because people are afraid. But I'm gonna say it. And not because I hate you. It's because I have a thinking cap and I think for myself and I speak my mind. That's why. And that's why a lot of them don't want me in their space. I can't be sitting in anybody's space and they silencing my voice. It ain't gonna fucking happen. And I ain't getting on nobody's panels yelling and screaming and cussing at people. That's not me. And half of y'all, if y'all had people who could tell you no and could tell you what, it, what the T really is and how you fucking up and causing harm, then y'all platform would be larger than it is. But y'all done got comfortable. Some of y'all superstars and don't even know it. Y'all just happy being known on the internet, on TikTok. But we ain't gonna clock that T. I got three platforms, baby. <laughs> I'm just saying. I ain't everybody's cup of tea here, but I'm good other places. And what I realize is I can't operate in the mindset where we are going to be brutal, brutally cruel to my own people. But then ain't nobody fucking talking about Britney. I ain't gonna clock that though. I see some real ones talking about Britney. Ain't nobody talking about Britney though. Cause she's palm colored. Y'all only get up here talking about black people, incriminating them and making them and, and denigrating them. But y'all ain't talking about Britney. Y'all want that smoke. I want that fucking smoke. That's why I'm gonna talk about her. I don't see y'all not going against none of them white creators that's out here dog walking black people. But y'all going to host lives because you know what y'all recognize that nobody cares about black people. And if you denigrate a black woman on the Internet, ain't nobody going to say much about it. And y'all uphold white supremacy and all his tools and tactics. Just like the white man. Y'all ain't going to clock that, though. 
I ain't your motherfucking problem. You are. And you are a problem to the black community. Ain't nobody talking about that. Don't nobody want to use their platform to talk about what just happened with SCOTUS. The Supreme Court. Ain't nobody using their platform to talk about the orange man and how he just was convicted of 34 felonies. Ain't nobody talking about that. How it just was found out that he, a 13-year-old. Y'all ain't talking about none of that because it wouldn't get you the views that you need and y'all love being anti-black. Oh, I talk about a hell kit. I talk about that shit. And when I get up in y'all spaces, when I want to get up in your box, that's what I got to talk about. Fuck y'all talking about who eyebrows match, who back the face matches, eye, like all this dumb shit. I just be like, what? We talking about this woman's hair? When Scotus just <laughs> voted that the president of the United States can commit a crime and not be convicted of it? Y'all not scared? He's above the law. That means the president can say, go take a hit out on this person speaking openly about me or against me and can't be prosecuted. And y'all ain't worried about the up and coming election. Because if Trump gets back in the office, he already made it clear that he is going to become a dictator. And he already said that he is going to take out all his enemies and any, 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 any enemy of his. And now he can't even be prosecuted because he's acting as the president and y'all ain't scared. Y'all too busy talking about somebody's fucking hair. Y'all ain't talking about Project 2025. They want to remove the fucking Board of Education. Non-existent. The Department of Education, they want to eliminate it. But y'all can't take five minutes and y'all fucking on y'all live with 1,200 people to talk about that. They want to replace government, people that work for the government, with elected officials, baby. Trump wants to use people who he elects to run the government. Fascism? When I talk about what the fuck is really happening in real time, y'all mad at me when I get in those spaces. I'm sick of y'all. I'm actually pissed at y'all. Y'all have heart, a lot. I'm calling y'all out. Y'all got large spaces that get 1,200 people in them sometime, and y'all won't take a minute to talk about what's happening in this country. Are y'all okay? <laughs> nah, y'all not okay. Y'all not okay. You ain't said nothing, Jazzy T. He gonna control it all. Y'all ain't gonna be able to be on TikTok speaking. But y'all, y'all wanna be mad. Cause somebody said something about your hair, your teeth. Y'all wanna get up and talk about this shit every single day. 
while our fucking humanity is being voted against. But you ain't gonna clock that shit. I'm so sick of y'all. Y'all pro-black, anti-black at the same time. None of y'all want to talk about that shit. The fuck are y'all talking about? I get so sick of it. You just got, y'all, y'all literally up here and nobody's taking the time to talk about that SCOTUS just voted that the president cannot be convicted of a crime. Are y'all okay? That shit rocked my world. I don't know about y'all. When y'all, when I heard that shit, it scared the devil out of me. Because what is next? Y'all irresponsible. Y'all irresponsible with your platforms. I'm calling you out. The only person that allowed me to even talk on the platform about the, vo- the issues was T-Time. And I, I know she didn't really want to do that either, but she let me. And I appreciate that about her. Y'all gonna talk about it as much as you want. But I did appreciate that she allowed me to get a second to talk about what's happening in this country while we had 1,200 people in there. We're in trouble as a country. And y'all black asses are black. Oh, yes, thank you. Supreme Court of the United States just voted. That's SCOTUS. That's what SCOTUS means. I just figure people know that, but you right. And four of the SCOTUS, or is it six, Trump put into place. Thank you, T-Time. That's why I appreciate you. And when I see shit going on, you know who I hit in the, on the back end? I always hit back T-Time on the back end. Because I know one thing about her is she is going to be fair. Be responsible with your platforms. It takes a minute to talk about these serious subjects. You got all the black people in your spaces. Take a minute to educate us. One minute. Save a life. We're in trouble. What's up, beauty? Beautiful. We're in trouble as a country, but we're in trouble as a people. Because let me tell you something, baby. Nobody hates anybody more than they hate a black person. We're the, ha- we're the most hated people internationally, globally. And everybody wants us in chains. That's why everybody, once upon a time, had us in chains. Y'all ain't going to clock that shit. From the Chinese to the Arabs, not just America. Block that. Y'all sitting up on the fucking internet arguing every day. Take some time to educate yourself and use your platforms to educate people and tell them to get the fuck out and vote. Sick of y'all motherfuckers. Y'all don't piss me the fuck off. Now you got me cursing. Get out and vote. Get out and vote because your life depends on it. I get mad when somebody say some shit. I'm saying it. (laughs) 
Y'all irresponsible with your platform. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to let you hear a video. Because this shit scared me so badly that I had, to, I couldn't sleep. Project 2025 complains about how the Biden administration complains about how the Biden administration has been fighting for racial equity. On the next page, it calls for eliminating data collection on race and ethnicity and employment. On the page after that, it calls for rescinding an executive order signed in 1965 that prohibits discrimination in hiring by contractors. Mr. Barry, do these terrible ideas sound familiar? They're great ideas. These are, this is Project 2025. Of course they do, you came up with them. Mr. Barry, I... They already started the process. Employers can discriminate right now in real time. <laughs> Y'all now paying attention. Project 2025 is coming into fruition. And if you think that they just started working on this, you don't know the Republican Party. They play chess, not checkers. You write about that hell kit. I got so much stuff. Pro one of projects 2025, yeah, now I'm talking about the election. They're gonna put that shit up there. And this is how this gonna make sure people don't come in here now. Um, project 2025, the lawmakers, the policy makers of it are trying to allow discrimination in the workplace. You know how hard it was for black people to get jobs? There is policies into place, laws that were put into place so that jobs have to hire a certain amount of black people. They had to do it. And now they want to dismantle that. And you talking about my eyebrows and my hair and my breast and my stomach and my ass and my legs. Give a fuck about that shit. We are we are under attack as a as a as a as a as a for, we are under under attack as a country and also for our humanity. And I'm all about humanity first. One of the one of the policy makers is his name is Jonathan Barry. Look him up. The democracy is falling right before your eyes. You have a platform. Use it. I'm calling y'all out. Did y'all understand that SCOTUS just overturned the Chevron documents? I'm going to have a whole live about that. And while when they overturned that, that already solidified Project 2025. The Chevron documents are documents that, are, that stops. What is that? Let me make sure I can explain it correctly. Am I saying it right anyway? I want to explain this to y'all so y'all Agenda 47. Hold on, guys. Bear with me for a minute. My live is dropping down, child. That's why I need to be in other people's safe. Well, 
Nope, no time to cry over Joe Biden's performance. The Supreme Court just dropped. Let's see. Briefly changed the course of this country and your lives. Here they are. First, the Supreme Court ruled that cities can prosecute people for sleeping or camping in public, basically making homelessness illegal, and that they can pro- They just made homelessness illegal. Illegal. They did that back in the day. The Vagrancy Act. And what does that mean? You make homeless people illegal. Is if, if you make it illegal to be homeless, then where they're going? Because they're doing a crime. Because it's a crime. What happens to people who commit cr- crimes? They go where? Where do they go? They lock their ass up. Private. Come on now. But let's let's listen to her because I want her to explain. Can prosecute people for sleeping or camping in public, even if they are unhoused and have nowhere else to go. We cannot arrest our way out of the homelessness crisis. Next, the court overturned Chevron deference. Now, I pinned the video on what Chevron deference is in my main profile, so you can go back and look at that. It's, it's a very detailed. Basically, it says when there are ambiguities in the law, deference goes to the agencies who are experts. So let's say there's chemical spill. The EPA is the expert on how that should be handled. Not anymore. Now, judges are the expert on how things like that should be handled. The Supreme Court has just made judges the ultimate experts on everything. And there will be no deference given to actual field experts in things like health, medicine, environmental controls, all that kind of stuff. And so, Chevron, deference, you, she explained it, that now the Supreme Court are the judges for what is right and what is wrong. And it doesn't matter if they have experts who know better than them on this said subject. They will have the final say. What does that sound like? Yes. So let's say if certain foods are not FDA approved, they can put them up there and kill us all. Make us sick. The water. They can say, oh, this water is perfectly fine. And those who work with water can say, no, water is, that water is not fine. But they will, the, you know who has the last and final say on whether it's fine or not? The Supreme Court. That didn't used to exist. This is called a dictatorship. That's what they're making sure that happens. And Trump voted those people in. Trump elected those people Trump gave those people their seats and y'all talking about Trump loves black people fuck y'all talking about that that just stirs my whole piece third world it sounds like third world countries think about Flint Michigan listen if y'all don't remember Flint Michigan y'all gonna remember Flint Michigan because you could be your town your city your state your borough your community can be Flint Michigan because they can determine that your your community deserves brown water and ain't nothing you can do about it. They can determine that your community don't deserve water at all. They can determine that your community doesn't deserve water at all. I better get it right. Yes. So if you live in a community or in a state that is blue, the GOP can say, hey, since y'all live over there, we're not going to send you no funding. We're not going to send you no relief. You could have a flood and it could take, up, take down 500 houses. And they could say, we don't want to help those people because they are majority blue. That's what they just did. Meaning they don't they don't vote. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> they don't vote for the GOP, the Republican Party. So let them burn, let them starve. Let them be flooded. 
good riddance. That's what just happened. Now it's legal to do it. <laughs> so when y'all taught, when y'all want me to be up here, I find it very difficult to get up here and dog walk black people. Not because I'm not capable, but because I see the whole world dog walking us already. And what's amazing, we are a very uh, particular time in our country because not only are they trying to dog walk black people, but they're trying to dog walk anyone who has a difference of opinion. Doesn't that sound familiar? Now it, it doesn't even matter if you're black. It's literally about where you're going to live, whether you have money, whether you can fight for yourself with money. So poor people, forget about it. But absolutely, black people are going to be the target. We're not a large part of the 1%. The 1% are the rich people. That's why I don't get up here and dog walk a lot of y'all. Because you're being dog walked in life already. And there ain't no sense in me getting up here arguing and cussing you out. When I'm really trying to change, I'm really trying to save your life. And they can destroy an entire city under the guise of protecting humanity. And they don't really have to say, they don't have to have a guise. They can just do it and it's legal now. It's legal. Yeah, I ain't worried about who the president. You know who pisses me off these third party is? These people that's third party. Third party is not going to work for this election right now, guys. Can it? I'm so sick of y'all with that. Third party is not going to work. Not right now, at least. We need to not let Trump be reelected, period, point blank. My phone is about to die. Shit. Hold on, y'all. A paid distraction at that. All y'all out there talking about third party, you guys are the opposition and you are paid to do this. I know who y'all work for. Y'all work for Trump. So don't don't get caught up in that third party shit. That's not real. It's it's there to distract so you won't be voting blue in the upcoming election. That's why there is so much Oh third party, third party, third party Bull Why y'all starting to do this third party rhetoric now? Why didn't y'all do it before? When, when Biden won Why weren't y'all working aimlessly To get the third party on the ballot? Y'all didn't Cause y'all don't want to Cause it ain't about the third party It's about getting Trump back in office I said what I said and I, and I, 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 I block someone who's been pushing her third party rhetorics and she's a black woman. Because not every black person is for black people. I'm just putting that out there. Now hold on, y'all. Get my fucking y'all. He has to use this bathroom. Wait, right, hold on, I gotta. Can y'all hear me? 
I've been in politics long enough to know it ain't about only race. Some black people are anti-black, unfortunately. Some black people are anti-black. Sorry, the bloggers done got me standing up. <sighs> Child, they done got me standing up, y'all. Let's listen up. Can y'all hear me? Because I had to unplug my mic so I can charge my phone. And what y'all not recognizing, read Project 2025. Yes, Project 2025. And people can come in the box. You are allowed to come in the box. My box has always been open. Um, All I'm saying is, we gotta get it right. And I'm gonna host lives about this. I gave my take on um, the Bella situation, cause it is a Bella situation. That's my take. Um, I hope that these women can move forward and learned a valuable lesson um, hopefully we can move on as a community and get activated. If there's anyone who is serious about getting activated, um, I do have a page on Facebook where we do do, um, movements, um, where we get out in the streets, we show up in locations and places. Um, if you want to get involved or you want to help do any kinds of campaigns, you can go to my action page. Um, I just created this new one. I have silenced it for a bit and now I reopened it back up because we're in a state of emergency as a, com as a country. Um, it's called the, the Collective on Facebook. Go follow that page. There is going to be a lot of updates over there. If you want in any information, Go there. There is a difference between, between, there is a difference between, between, I don't know what you're saying. Get activated, get motivated. First and foremost, if you have a friend, get them. If they're not already registered to vote, help them get registered. That's the first step. The collective. Yeah, I don't even know what they're saying. That's why I'm not letting some people up here because if you're not going to add to the conversation, you're going to start being a distraction. Then we'll, I'm not. I'm not playing. I'm not going to deal with that. I don't have time for you. And make sure your address updated so they can deny your vote in November. Exactly. Please make sure you're going into your yes. So all that will be updated. Please go and join the collective, the action page, because that page is really for people who want to join a campaign and help their community. It doesn't matter where you live. You can live in California, you can live in Jersey, you can live in Nebraska. We have active groups everywhere. We've done, um, we've done action items that was global. It wouldn't be my first time. So I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Um, I look forward to seeing you. If you have not followed me, please follow me. Um, please check out my content. I do talk about a lot of things. Um, yes, The Collective on Facebook. Yes, The Collective on Facebook. Yes, we're called The Collective. 
it's, one of, it's my nonprofit. You didn't ask a question. What was your question, darling? I didn't understand the question. I didn't under, did you have a question? I did not understand your question. Oh, well, let me finish re letting y'all hear this. Because there was three acts that just, there was three, um, there was three thing, if there was a couple of things that were put in place and there was a couple of things that were overturned. So let's pay, let's, let's listen in and hear what was the other. So we, we now we know about the vagrac vagrancy law they just overturned the vagrancy law. Now they're arresting. They can actually incarcerate someone for being homeless. We heard about the Chevron, Chevron overturning. Now they can go into different communities and decide whether you deserve water or not. Whether your water is clean enough. They are no longer asking the experts. They're saying that the judges can make these decisions. That's a no-no. That's like going to a freaking baker to ask whether you have cancer or not. Right? You wouldn't go to a baker to go get a breast exam. You go to the experts that know about breast. So now what they're saying is they don't care what the experts are saying. The judges is going to have the last and final say on what you deserve in your community as a whole. If they feel like your community doesn't deserve water, you don't get any. Lastly, the court has ruled that some January 6th defendants and likely Donald oh. Trump cannot. I want y'all to hear about this January 6th thing because this is wild. So you guys, please get educated. Join the collective. We need a lot more um, volunteers. This is hard work. It's a lot of effort and it takes us all. And um, don't believe, ever believe that your voice doesn't count. Your voice counts and your vote counts. We need people active. What's up Shay? We need people active and motivated to change the times. And we also want you to know that those people that are making these laws, you are putting into office. So we are going to put a list of those who agreed to these ideologies and voted toward it. That's living in your state, that oversees your state, your Congress, your senators, your council people, your committee people. These are relevant names that you should know. I want you to get educated on how voting actually works. What's up, Luna? I want you to get educated on how voting actually works. Because the more educated you become, the more of a weapon you are for humanity. Don't ever let someone convince you that your vote doesn't count. It's a lie. If it didn't count, then they wouldn't need votes. It's propaganda. But one last thing that she's talking about, because I want to let you see how the system is built on white supremacy. Ruled that some January 6th defendants and likely Donald Trump cannot be charged with obstructing Congress on January 6th. Please go watch the pinned video about Chevron deference. I will have more on this throughout the day, but um, it, they really all the other bullshit that's going on in the world. This is probably the most important thing we need to be paying attention to and trying to decide how we're going to go ahead from here. Well, no time to cry over Joe Biden's performance. Y'all talking about Joe Biden's performance. That was a distraction. Oh, Joe Biden didn't do well on his performance. The man is 80, almost 100 years old. He has a speech impediment. That's why they keep on attacking the way he speaks. They keep on attacking the way he speaks because he has a speech, a speech impediment that has nothing to do with how his brain works and whether he will fight for humanity. And my vote is he's gonna fight for humanity. And I'm not gonna take a 90 minute conflict 
and throw my vote to Trump because he's able to lie for a full 90 minutes without any interruption because they did no fact checking the entire time. I mean, to be quite fair, have you ever been in a debate with a liar? When someone is lying upon lying upon lying upon lying, it's so many lies that you're going to have to dispute, you cannot keep up with it. And that's what he was trying to do. He was trying to keep up with the, the, the billion lies that Trump told. They literally said that for the 90 minutes, every second or third second, Trump lied about something. Could you imagine debating someone who is hella bent on lying? It throws you off your game. What y'all need to know is that Trump is planning on putting us all in shackles. Ain't nobody clocking that. They talking about how he did. Of course he performed well. He was lying the whole damn time. He didn't have to, he didn't have to think it through. When you're lying, it just, it just flows. There's no, there's nothing connected to it. There's no policies. There's no, there's no litig, there's no laws connected to your lies. It's just a whole bunch of lies. I could sit up here and lie all day without interrupting. It's just my, my thoughts being spewed. I don't actually have to think about anything. Oh yes, and don't forget, they said submit and there will be no bloodshed. So y'all, y'all, y'all forgetting that they literally did an insurrection on our government. They went to the damn Capitol. This time, they didn't have weapons. Not all of them. But people were hurt. Imagine when Trump says you can attack without any consequence. A lot of us is going to be in trouble. I'll just put that out there. And it was by Trump's command. He put those people in the office to do exactly what they're doing. They're doing their job. And we're sitting back and watching. I'm over it, y'all. I want y'all to get activated, motivated, and know that you are capable of turning the tide in the right direction by getting out there and voting like your life depended on it, like your children's lives depend on it, like your grandchildren's lives depend on it. Maybe you don't care about your existence. Maybe you already on your way out. What about your children? What about their children? What about the next generation? What are you leaving for them? Trump cannot be reelected. Vote. I just passed, I think, what, what state just said that Trump would not be on their ballot? I forgot, was it Colorado? I think Colorado said they, they will not allow Trump to be on a ballot. Trump will not be allowed on a ballot. Somebody is standing up. Colorado said, hell no, you will not be on our ballot. You do not represent. We will not allow you on our ballot. We will not even allow you. That didn't pass, SCOTUS. No, but Co no, Colorado just, hold on, let me make sure I'm right. Cause I just read this. Colorado just did it on their own. This has nothing to do with SCOTUS. I think states can decide that and it was it was ruled it was ruled.